Okay, the last here at Punchstown, the last on day two is bar one handicap chase, which is over two miles after that four mile one slog. This is a uh, commentator's dream. So it's a two mile handicap over 0 to 140. Number one is Igugu Warrior Queen. Two is Sword of the King. Three, Arnu. Four, Get Into the Groove. Five, Goldstorm. Six, Deep Red Eyes. Seven, Sea Fever. Eight, Spring Collection. Nine, Fired Earth. Ten, Quirrell Rock. Eleven, J-Bone. 12, run for your lives. 13 is VV Tamima. I haven't had 13 to call for a long time. But I have 13 today. So, the last one here at Punchestown. Over two miles. Should go fairly quick. They're all wait. Yeah. Gonna leave the stands. Not that little rise there. And it's Arnu that's gonna lead them. Although he's a little bit out wide at the moment. As they approach the bend in the first fence of 10. We're riding on board Sword of the King at the moment. So they all go into the first. Everybody's over it. And Sword of the King, as you can see, the pace here compared to uh, when we were riding on board those in the, the Moore's Millions four mile monster. This is considerably faster. So we approach the second. Nice big ditch. Everybody's over it. There's Arnu that leads us from Goldstorm. We've got the Black Silk Sakura Rock up against the fence. Moilet's Deep Red Eyes in front of us. As we see for a longer shot, it's Arnu that leads from Goldstorm in second. Then we've got Deep Red Eyes, VV Tamima out wider. Black Silks of J-Bone get into the groove. Against the rock is, rock. Against the rock is Quirrell Rock. Against the fence is Quirrell Rock. As they approach the third, everybody sprints over that. And we're followed through by Spring Collection. Get into the groove. You goo goo warrior queen. Run for your lives against the fence in the yellow. And sea fever out wide being pushed along. And fired earth at the rear at the moment. Barn who stole a bit of a lead here. Leads by five. Six maybe. To Goldstorm and Quirrell Rock. The others are all being pushed along a little bit here to try and uh, cut this gap down, these heavy conditions. If Arnu can uh, steal, the, steal the lead, they're over the fourth. Lead's getting cut a little bit now by Deep Red Eyes and Igu Goo Warrior Queen. These two are not allowing Arnu to get away too fast. In his uh, Elf Tyrrell. Six wheeler, if I remember right now. Right. Didn't Arnu drive that six wheel Elf Tyrrell in the Formula One? They're over the fifth. Anyway, it's Arnu that still leads by uh, three to four. Although it's been shortened now by Deep Red Eyes. The grey on the outside get into the groove. The green and the silks gold storm against the fence. The three outside of that are Jay Boney, Good Warrior. Oh, and we've lost the leader. He's gone. Arnu's gone. Went a little bit too fast. Skidded into that one. Anyway, so back to the races. Get into the groove. The grey that leads us inside the six furlongs now. We've still got uh, three left to jump. It's getting the groove from Gold Storm and Spring Collection. Then we've got Igugu Warrior Queen. Deep Red Eyes is still there. Quirrell Rock. The Purple Silks of Sea Fever. They're all over that, but a few slower jumps towards the rear. But it's getting the groove that still leads just by a length from Spring Collection. Against the fences, Gold Storm. Plum Run. Then we've got Deep Red Eyes. Moving up again is Sea Fever and J-Bone on the outside. Under pressure is Run for Your Lives. So we're making up some good ground. Round. They're all over the next, but it's all change up front, and it's Sea Fever that takes a length advantage. Been followed through by J-Bone as they take this bend. J-Bone getting caught a little bit wide and has allowed Sea Fever to get over towards the fence. So it's Sea Fever that leads them now. Two left to jump. He's over the penultimate. The ninth took it slow. There's a loud run for your lives and get in the groove to get back into this. On the far outside is Fired Earth. The one against the fence is still Spring Collection, but it's Sea Fever that leads him inside the two furlongs. There's only one left to jump. He needs to get over it swiftly. It's Sea Fever from Run for Your Lives. Get into the groove. He does jump it well but getting into the groove was faster we may have lost one there but it's sea fever get into your groove these two neck and neck inside the final furlong on the outside is fired earth but it's sea fever but here comes get into the groove and half a furlong left to run get into the groove fired earth these two now get into the groove in the middle is gold storm but it's getting to the groove fired earth they both went over together i think fired earth may well have got up there for darren thompson i'll wait to see the replay i remember john mentioning Ooh, it, fired Earth, the favourite gets up there from getting to the groove in second. Goldstorm was third. Let's just check it's not a dead heat. I haven't had a dead heat for donkeys. Let's see if I've got one today. No, it's, a, it's another short head, short nostril for Fired Earth. Uh, Darren Thompson, well done. Second, get into the groove for Graham Clutterbuck. Third, Goldstorm for Thunderspark. Fourth, Sea Fever for Martin Needham. Five, Run for Your Lives is Obi Wan. And uh, Mark, if you're listening, bring back the photo finishes from SO4 and 5, I think they were. They were by far the most exciting things. I'm sure you're not listening, so you'll probably take no notice. But anyway, uh, 
that's it for day two guys we'll see you tomorrow for day three adios